pivoted towards the the kind of free thinking mentality, individualist mentality, or or is that something kind of just always always kind of going? Yeah, it's kind of always been my thing. I've always kind of pushed against the grain, you know. So one one thing that I noticed on the notes is the our personality types. So I, I'm an INTJ. I believe are you an INTJ as well? Yep. So, so then you know it's just you thinking and analyzing and thinking and thinking, and it's just always always been something that I've done. So I and then also dealing with people on an individual basis just because of different life experiences, not knowing how certain people would react to you and things like that. So I, I was always kind of apprehensive when dealing with people and then being an INTJ kind of quiet at times and kind of just soaking it all in. Um, so just doing that and that just kind of being my thought process and how I kind of maneuver through life, it kind of just, just led me to being the way that I am in a way. Um, for a long time, I didn't know my personality type. So I kind of was kind of not necessarily clinging for, you know, some, so a home in a way, but kind of, kind of wanting to know like, where, where do I line up? Um, and then once I, you know, I took a Myers-Briggs personality test, I kind of dug deep into kind of learning more about myself and how I, how my mind works and then kind of realizing like, oh, okay, that's why I have these certain mannerisms, why I kind of process data the way that I do, why I could be sometimes in mid conversation with someone, but then thinking about something completely like intricate and completely different at the same time. Uh, so after re realizing that I was like, oh, okay, I understand. And then from that point, I kind of was just taking in data and just analyzing data and just kind of making independent decisions based on how I felt about each thing, opposed to trying to figure out where I line up or trying to pick a side or, you know, that ridiculous thing that's pointless because you're just going to end up saying stuff that other people want you to say.